Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about splicing mechanism. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So in eukaryotes, once an RNA gets transcribed, it contains both introns and exons. It is called pre-mRNA or primary messenger RNA. Introns should be removed from the RNA before translation begins. The process of removing introns and joining exons is called splicing. So here we have this pre-mRNA. Here we can see two exons are there, exon 1 and exon 2. And the intron is present between these two exons. So our task is to remove this intron and join these two exons. We will see how this can be performed. Okay. So this is the 5 prime splice site and this is the 3 prime splice site. And this is the branch site of intron. So basically 5 prime splice site is at one end of intron and 3 prime splice site is at the other end of intron. Now the 5 prime splice site is recognized by the U1 SN RNP. U2 AF65 binds to the 3 prime splice site and recruits BBP and helps that protein bind to branch site. So 5 prime splice site is occupied by U1 SNRNP. 3 prime splice site is occupied by U2 AF65 and the branch site is occupied by BBP. This arrangement of proteins and RNA is called the RLE complex or E complex. Okay. Then what happens? U2 SN RNP then binds to the branch site and displaces BBP. The U2 SN RNP forms a stem loop in the branch site to bring 5 prime and 3 prime splice sites close together. This arrangement is called the A complex. So in A complex, BBP is not there. Three components are there. U2 SNRNP, U2 AF65 and U1 SNRNP. This is the a complex. Then tri SNRNP particle joins this complex. So tri SNRNP basically contains three molecules U4, U5, and U6 SNRNPs. So they all together join the complex and U2 AF65 leaves the complex. This arrangement is now called B complex. So in B complex, tri SNRNP is there, U2 SNRNP is there, and U1 SNRNP is there. This is the B complex. Now U1 and U4 SNRNPs leave the complex and U6 interacts with U2. So this arrangement is called the C complex. So here U6 is there, U2 is there and U5 is there. Okay, this is the C complex. Now 3 prime OH group of a specific nucleotide on the intron causes a nucleophilic attack on the 
first nucleotide of the intron at the 5 prime splice site. So here you have the 5 prime splice site, right? Now, 3 prime wage group of a specific nucleotide, it basically attacks on the first nucleotide of the intron at the 5 prime splice site and this causes the folding of the 5 prime and 3 prime ends resulting in a loop just like this. So what is a nucleophilic attack? A nucleophilic attack is a chemical reaction where an electron rich component called a nucleophile attacks an electron deficient component called an electrophile. The nucleophile donates electrons to the electrophile and forms a new bond between the two components. That's why this loop is formed. Finally, the looped intron is detached from the sequence by the SNRNPs. So basically what happens, I'll show here, the 3 prime wage group of the released 5 prime exon, so here it is the exon here. 3 prime wage group is there that is released and it performs an electrophilic attack on the first nucleotide of the 3 prime exon. This is the first nucleotide of the 3 prime exon. So this attacks this. This is the electrophilic attack. So just the opposite happens now. And this causes the binding of the two exon segments. That's why the intron is removed and two exons are joined together. And what is this electrophilic attack? An electrophilic attack is a reaction where an electron deficient molecule called an electrophile attacks a molecule with a high electron density. So in this way, introns are removed and exons are joined together. This is called the splicing mechanism. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.